Across the country, we have uh, people have been remembering Colin Powell and his life. He had many titles that included the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Secretary of State, and National Security Advisor. His family says the 84-year-old died of complications from COVID-19. He was fully vaccinated, but had several underlying health conditions, including cancer. A former Navy Admiral who worked with Powell talked with News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott. Jim is live in the newsroom. You know, I did talk to uh, retired Admiral Robert Natter, who makes his home here in Jacksonville. Though today, he was actually in Germany visiting his family. So by Zoom, he told me many things about Powell. Retired Admiral Robert Natter has seen and worked with many people during his long career with the Navy. He worked under Colin Powell during the first Gulf War conflict in the early 90s. We worked together all through Desert Shield and then Desert Storm. Um, and then when he became Secretary of State, I continued uh, relationship with him over there. Natter says, like many of us, Powell's death is a surprise. I wasn't aware that he was ill uh, because I think the family is very private. His wife Alma is private. I know that for a fact. Natter says he and Powell worked together many times over the years. You know, obviously, you were friends. I mean, more than just oh, yeah. co-workers, you were friends. I, I think so. I mean, he had a lot of friends. I, he, I would not say that I was a close friend because I was so junior compared to him, but he and I had some uh, good discussions and some fun discussions. Natter says Powell was very even keeled, and that came out during the tense times during the Gulf War and as Secretary of State. He was very, very uh, pro State Department and the whole process of uh, national security, which that. did not end with just the uh, Defense Department. It certainly uh, bled over into the State Department as uh, the first and foremost uh, means of uh, defending this country. You know, I did some checking today. Powell's inspirational talks did bring him here to Jacksonville in 2009, where he appeared with a number of motivational speakers at the arena. His death today is also bringing up questions about the COVID vaccine. Now, I did talk to several local doctors who say that the complications of his cancer were part of the problem here, and they believe that vaccines work in the majority of cases.